Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. So if you were here for my previous video, you'd have seen this case here. Alright, now on this case it has two USB 3.2 connectors, so USB 3 connectors. So most motherboards only have one connector. So I had to come up with something. So this video is really quick, very short. So this is a PCI multi multi IO controller card. All right. So something like this is going to help you out if you ever come across this. So this has got four USB on the top and a USB C. But in order to do it, you need a product that's capable of handling something like that. So I bought this off Amazon, cost about 20 bucks. That's Canadian. Simply goes into a PCI slot and it has two USB slots, USB 3 slots on it. You can get multiple different adapters like this. Plugs in, once it plugs in, you plug into the back of this and you can activate everything. Alright, like I say, very quick, to the point. So that when I start the uh, video for the next time, we're going to do a build. But I need to have this, or I can't do anything. So, like I say, this is a PCIe multi-IO controller card. Alright, I got it from Amazon. And it says, easy plug and play. Now, it does say it has drivers. Um, but if you're running Windows 10 or 11, you probably won't need it. Uh, but especially if you have a case like this, you probably won't need it either. Alright, so keep in mind that now it says it can... I'm trying to read what it's got here because it's a little confusing. I was talking about access control, DOC, POS, printer. These are just different things that you might need it for or could use it for. Um, it's not what I'm using it for, but it says plug and play. You don't have to worry about IPQ or I.O. addresses. Mind you, that's for older systems. So this is brought out a long time ago. Maybe it was intended for a different purpose, but it serves the purpose of having two USB 3s on the same case, giving you four USB 3.2 ports on this particular case that you can use. It supports 32-bit PCIe specification revision 2, uh, supports remapping to legacy address and it supports Windows 98, 2000, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Linux and DOS operating systems. Now, it doesn't say Windows 10 or 11, but it does. So, just things to be aware of. It also works with Linux. Alright, so now it supports PCI Express Base Specification Revision 2. Okay, up to 5 gigabyte a second, and it's backwards compatible, so it's USB 3, USB 2, and uh, yeah, it'll give you a maximum of 5 volts or 900 milliamps of power output to your USB device, which should be plenty for running uh, USB ports, and uh, it does come with a disc as well, alright, driver disc, whether you will need it or not. Hard to say, but it does include it. So that's it. That's all there is to this. Just a quick video. Just to let you know that that's available. And if you need it, 20 bucks. I'll put a link in the description so you can see where I got it from. In case you need to have something like this. Because in this case, it's worth activating everything on it. So we're going to do a build coming up real soon. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, think about subscribing, hit that bell for notifications, and leave me a comment if you have questions. And as always, have a good one. Bye-bye.